Hi guys, it's Carissa. Today I want to talk to you about two fertility medications, Clomid and Famara. I want to talk to you about three of the similarities and ten of the differences. The differences are extremely important, especially when you have PCOS. I've been seeing a gynecologist and trying to conceive for over a year and a half now, and I just recently had an early miscarriage, a uh, chemical pregnancy, and I decided to go see a fertility specialist, and that's when I really learned about these two medications. So, I'd like to share them with you today. I first want to start by saying that I am by no means a doctor or a specialist, so I would definitely consult with your doctor or specialist and make sure that the medication that you're taking is right for you and your body. There are three similarities with Clomid and Famara. The first one is that you take the medication orally. You can either take it in the morning or at night, but it's taken orally. The second similarity is that you take the medication five days per cycle, and it's usually in the very beginning. So cycle day one is the day that you start your period, and Famara is taken days three through seven, and Clomid is usually taken days five through nine. Number three is that Clomid and Famara have very similar side effects, including headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, breast tenderness, abdominal pains, mood swings, and hot flashes. All right, now let's talk about the differences of Clomid versus Famara. Number one, Clomid has been around since the early 1970s, and Famara has been around since the late 1990s. Number two, Clomid is very inexpensive, whereas Famara is definitely more expensive. Number three, Clomid is easily available. You can even buy it online right now. With Famara, you need a prescription from your doctor. Number four, research says that Clomid has worse side effects than Famara. They are the same side effects, but with Famara, they are less frequent and less intense. Number five, the one that I think is the most important, is that Clomid thins out your lining and does not provide the correct cervical fluid, and that's because it's an anti-estrogen medication. Famara does not have the same anti-estrogen effects, so that it so it thickens the lining of your uterus and it provides the perfect cervical mucus for sperm to live in. Number six, the miscarriage rate with Clomid is about 25%, whereas with Famara, it is about 15%. Number seven, ovulation rate. Clomid has an ovulation rate of about 48%, meaning that 48% of women actually ovulate when they take this medication, whereas Famara has a 61% ovulation rate. Number eight, chances of twins and multiples. With Clomid, the chances are seven to eight percent. With Famara, the chances are less than 1%. Number nine, the amount of time that the medication is in your system after you stop taking it. With Clomid, it's five to six weeks. This is one of the reasons for the high miscarriage rate. And with Famara, it's seven days, meaning that by the time the embryo reaches your uterus, it's no longer in your system. Number 10, birth defects. Women that take Clomid have a 4.8% chance that their baby will have birth defects. Women that take Famara have a 2.4% chance, so half as many. So those are the differences between Clomid and Famara. If you are trying to conceive and you have PCOS, you should talk to your doctor about this and make sure that you understand the differences before you start taking Clomid. If you know somebody who might be on Clomid and has PCOS, please pass them this video. It's very important that they know the anti-estrogen effects on the lining of their uterus and the cervical mucus. It's an adverse effect on trying to get pregnant. There's a video linked down below 
It's called Of Pills and Eggs, and it is a fertility specialist that explains the science behind how both of these medications work. And he does a really good job in drawing it out with diagrams. So click below if you want more information about how these chemically work in your body and help you ovulate. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll be coming out with another video in a couple of days. Bye.